joining me in another adventure with Traveling with Sale and More. Today I am going to do a fruit for you since it is almost the end of the summer. Um, the fruits are winding down so I'm, I've brought you some new things from previous videos. So here is my fruit plates. I've got four fruits to introduce. Some of them pretty new. Some of them you might be familiar with. So let's start with the first one. The first one I have for you is the dragon fruit. So dragon fruit comes in different colors. You have the whites, you have the yellows, you have the pinks, and you have the red. Sometimes what you see on the outside might not match what's inside. So I prefer the red dragon fruit. But let's see what we can get today. So I'm going to open it up and show you what it looks like if you're not familiar with the dragon fruit. So basically you just cut it in half. Here we are. There you go, like you say, it's pink on the outside and white inside. So here we are. And have you noticed the seeds? It's really ripe. All you do is just eat this, uh, just scoop it out. You could use a spoon or you could just, you know, cut around. And you eat the whole thing, the flesh, the white, the white part and the seed. It is very, very refreshing. It's great for the summer. Mm. And the next one I have for you is the Jeremiah, our sugar apples. So this one, what you do is you break it in half and you eat the white flesh. Let me show what it looks like and I'll show you how to eat it if you're not familiar with it. But if you are, you already know. So it has a nice sweet custard smell to it. So sometimes it's the custard apple. So what you do, see what it looks like, it's like this. It's really fleshy. So what you do is you eat the white part and be careful it has Sometimes it has a black seed, so you just... Mm. And that's what I mean by the brown... I didn't say black, I said brown seeds. It should say brown se sheets. I mean seeds. So all of them has a brown seed. So you can eat it, scoop it out, or you just, you know, follow it. Like with the flesh, see. Normally you could eat it bare hand. Hmm. And it's sweet, plenty of liquid. That tastes like custard. It, it's custard like taste will hit you as soon as you bite down into it. And you find this all over Florida this time of the year in the summertime also you I know I've seen them at Sprouts in Baton Rouge before and of course the Asian markets will carry them um, you go to most Asian market and they carry this in the summertime so mm. that is very real good so just be careful on the seeds. The next one I have for you is the yellow dates. See how the dates are? I haven't had like dates that is fresh. Normally my dates are dry or semi dry and I normally eat them like that. We'll see how this fresh dates, yellow dates, let it taste like. It's hard when you bite into it. Mm. And this yellow dates has that mm, puckering taste to it. It's not, it's not quite bitter, but mm, but it does make your mouth plucker. Mm. 
Might have to wait till it's maybe a little bit more ripe. I'm not sure if it turns darker yellow than this, on this yellow date, but, mmm. It does smell uh, sweet, semi, semi nectarine smell, or nectar smell, but I don't recommend it. Not having a water nearby, which I know, which I have, which is good because it's you're gonna need it after that bite. And my last one I have for you is these honey jarjubi. So they're the honey jar. And these are grown. Actually, you would harvest them in most places, but especially in Florida. And, and they have a seed inside. Let's see. And I only seen them in the summer, so it might come in different season but I only see them in the summertime so they're like so here's the seed there's a long seed in there and that's what it tastes look like so and it smells like apple that's what it smells like to me hmm it has a nutty apple taste to it and it's just like its name. You get that essence and that a little bit taste of the honey. The smell the smell gives you the essence of honey also. Mm. It's like a nutty crunchy apple with a honey drizzle on top. That's what this uh, honey jujube tastes like. And let me show you the seed. Mm. Seed is pretty quite long and skinny. Here it is. Here's the seed. See how long? It's almost an inch long. So if you ever had a chance, do try the honey jujube. And I said it smells like nutty apple with a drizzle of honey on it. It's really good. So our four, the four fruits that we have today is we have the yellow dates, which I wouldn't recommend eating without water. But I would recommend... Probably, mine's probably not as ripe. Or I'm not sure, but I don't think it's... It probably needs a little bit more ripening. So, because then it won't give you that plucker taste to it. Uh, honey jarjube. And then we have the dragon fruit, which looks like that. And, of course, the... You know, cherimaya, which is bumpy on the outside. Flesh. And inside is soft and mushy, which is like a... It's not really mushy, but it's soft and mush. It's kind of like custard. So, you could say it's sweet custard. And it does smell like it too. And that's all that I have for you today. Thank you for joining me in another adventure with Traveling with Say One More. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. And I'll talk to you another time. Bye.